The current conducting structures on this foil are almost invisible. They have to be. After all, the ultra-thin polyethylene layers will become an essential part of the touchscreen later on. On mobile phones or behind switches of all kinds. Even when affixed behind millimeter-thick plastic, the silver rows and columns on the foil are able to identify the electronic features of a finger. Here in Fürth, near Nuremberg, the company PolyIC would like to even take it a step further in the future. Printed intelligence, ultra-thin and versatile. I can clearly identify the packaging, the catchword RFID is on everyone's lips and really am able to precisely trace each and every package, right up to its intelligent functions. For example, being able to determine if something has the correct temperature, this being a sensory function, or does the consumer use the product correctly? Take tablet packaging, for example. Does he take his pills correctly, always at the right time? In other words, the package also has the intelligence to grasp and save such information. So, eventually, entire circuits or even mini-computers are supposed to be printed on foil. Resource efficient, in rolls 30 meters per minute or more. In short, extremely well priced. Just like the printed solar cell, but that is all still up in the air. This solution is already reality, Facebook to print. On the social web, in no time at all, a photo can be shared, commented on and forgotten about again. However, this fast pace is not to everyone's taste. With just a few clicks, more and more users order copies of their snapshots, with or without binding. And the demand is growing. According to the Imaging Association, Photo Industrieverband, 150,000 individually created photo books were sold in 2005 in Germany. In 2010, the number was already up to 5.7 million. A growing area of operation for printers and programmers. And the younger target audience is particularly interested, who hardly even know analog photography anymore. We have found that groups between the ages of 35 and 45 also feel like actually touching a product again. So to speak, turning an online product into an offline product. Treating friends with a gift for birthdays, a Christmas or on other occasions. Statistically, the increase in digital photo printing does not compensate for the volume depletion in the analog area, yet. Many of the pictures that were taken still only exist on hard drive. For 20 years now we have been devoting ourselves to digital printing with classic web-to-print applications, which is what many of our colleagues and printers also do every day. And it's difficult to find something extraordinary in that area. But for us the future lies in the Internet in general and in particular in applications. And we think that there is money to be made with this. And looking forward to your printed album can be invaluable, depending on the occasion or immortalized memory. In any case, the picture you hold in your hand is something different than the photo on a screen. To which extent is really up to you.